Hey guys and welcome back. I guess we all know that Bitcoin is the market leader, and the market seems to go in the direction of Bitcoin's price movement. However, there were a few altcoins like Cardano or Solana, who did extremely well this year. When we evaluate a crypto asset, we should go beyond its recent price movement. Because sometimes it's only hype that drives up the price. For a long-term investment, we have to dive deeper and find out everything we can. In this video, we'll show you 5 tips that may help you find value as you look into new altcoins. If you don't want to do any research or take on risk, I think it's fair to say that Bitcoin is your safest bet. But I was surprised when I found that this year out of the top 100 cryptocurrencies, only 10 performed worse than Bitcoin. Including 15 of the top 20 crypto assets. And the stable coins are not included in this list. So it might be worth your time to do the research. Nevertheless, each altcoin comes with its own set of strengths and weaknesses. Many altcoins, particularly those created in the crypto boom periods, started out strong, but have since crashed due to one factor or another. Let me give you 5 tips that will help you find the right crypto asset. First, we got the function. Altcoins are typically created with a specific set of use cases that aim to solve a problem using blockchain technology. An altcoin that has no clear function will likely have no future as a store of value. The problem with some altcoins that were initially hyped, but ultimately flamed out is that they end up being solutions to a problem that doesn't exist. Ask yourself these questions. Does this altcoin do anything substantial other than replicate an existing coin? And, is the altcoin's purpose both useful and attainable in the near future? If the answer is no, you better move on. Next up on the list is developers and support. In my opinion, it's very important to research the team and what each team member has accomplished in the past. Ideally, you want to find a team that is very passionate about the project. Meaning that they don't see it as a paycheck, but rather have a clear vision of how they want to shape the future. Think of the following questions. Does the team actively work on noteworthy updates for the crypto project? Do they strive to improve their product and regularly keep in touch with investors? Keep in mind, this factor may matter more for new altcoins that have yet to make an impact in the industry. But if an altcoin has been around for quite a while, the next factor will probably be more important. History and Reputation Every so often, a crypto project and its team members may have reputable CVs. However, that's not a guarantee that this particular altcoin will be successful. Sometimes, there are events in an altcoin's history that end up affecting the positive assessments you already have about that crypto asset. Beware of the red flags that may come up as you answer the following questions. Have there been any scandals in the coin's history? Have any security breaches been exposed? How long has the altcoin been on the market, and how much has its value increased since then? If you are happy with the answers to those questions you are one step closer to finding a great project. Unless you want to take on really high risk, you should take a look at the volume, and look into the altcoin's open market performance. Simply put, when more people trade higher amounts of an altcoin in the market, that altcoin is in good shape. It's even better if people find actual use in that altcoin. There are two important questions under this factor. How many people are currently using the altcoin? Is the altcoin available on any of the major exchanges? If it is only on minor exchange this can be good and bad at the same time. The volume is probably too low but on the other hand, there might be a chance that this altcoin will be listed on a bigger exchange. That would likely increase the price. The last tip I got for you today is accessibility. You can have the greatest crypto asset, but if it is difficult to purchase, it's probably not the right one. Altcoins that are easy to acquire are more accessible to the public, and more likely to scale to bigger markets. Just ask yourself. How would you purchase the altcoin? If it is easy to buy and does check the other boxes, you might have found your altcoin. Those were our 5 tips for finding a good altcoin. Let us know what your favorite altcoin is, and what price you bought it at. Please subscribe to our channel if this video was helpful to you. Thanks a lot for staying all the way through. Check out our other videos if you want to learn more about cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm.